Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. We are in the Voltra headed over to do a fertilizing contract. Well, someone else will be doing it. I'm going to send them off here to work in just a moment. Uh, we are at zero dollars. I just leased the windrower because we got to do some hay baling in just a moment. And i glad I thought of that before I went and bought some fertilizer because, well, I didn't have enough to even fill up this spreader, uh, which brought us down to zero dollars. But that's okay. We're going to make some money here in just a moment. Uh, create job. We all know the routine here and we'll set you off this general direction and then one tool one headland that should be all good. I think this one pays just under 10,000. I did go ahead and also take on that plowing contract which will be done afterwards because I need to use a Landini for windrowing. Out of money. Oh I can't hire a worker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hire a worker. I don't have no money. All right. Um, well, I can, I can zoom around and get this done. It won't take me that long to get this done. So, <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot. Been a while since I really had no money, which is kind of hard to do in Farming Simulator. But either way, uh, with no money, you can't hire a worker. Uh, but yeah, after we get this done, we're going to go down to the shop and grab the windrower. And the fence is already set to go for doing the bailing. We're going to be in the Landini putting the hay that we made last episode into a swath, bail it on up. I want to get that done before the rain gets here. Not that it really matters, but just kind of role-playing a little bit there. I also got some straw that I need to bail up as well. So we'll probably take care of that. And uh, yeah, we should be pretty much uh, all set for a little while. So all the money last episode went towards buying the dairy production. We had to use our slurry tanker for the time being to bring the milk down. So we are making butter and cheese currently. Uh, we should be making money also from the BGA at the top of every hour. So I think we got some silage and I think we brought over some slurry last time also. I could bring over some manure as well. The pigs got a good amount and the cows I think got a little bit. Speaking of the pigs, we're waiting for the health to get up to 100% before I turn around and sell a whole bunch. So, I mean, we got money sitting around. It just, it's... I just can't get it at this current time. Or at least it's not wise to. It's better to wait until we can get more money at a better time. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with the month of July and just keep moving on forward. Yeah, I am trying to save up for the next production building, which is going to be 150000 for making the bearings and uh, all the other stuff, uh, the diesel fuel, so on and so forth, uh, make all that material, and then we can really start making money from the oil production. Uh, that's going to really help us out here. By the end of the season, I think we're going to be doing pretty well on the money. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And as I was mentioning, yeah, I did take on the plowing contract, but that'll get done after we don't need the Landini for doing the windrowing of the the hay. We'll set them off on a worker. That pays like 13000 but that job will take a while. So that's why I was going to do it after I get done recording, but since we need the money... Uh, maybe get him going on to it right away. Yeah, this will pay us quite a bit. Actually, if I fast forward some time to the top of the hour, the BGA will sell its electricity and methane that it has in storage. And I probably could hire a worker. But yeah, this is not going to take me that long to get this fuel done. So we'll do it as we're doing it. And I got the time speed down to one because I don't remember what time the rain's going to get here. I want to say somewhere around noon. So I got a couple of hours, in-game hours, which should not be a problem for us. All right, turn around and face this way now. I kind of miss having the map on, on the map of Hills of Tuscany, but I'm fertilizing. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it still kind of makes me wonder why we can see it when you're running precision farming where we fertilize, but we can't see it on the base game stuff. Kind of weird. Maybe because we're kind of role playing in that sense as well. Because we're supposed to have sensors on the tractors to do the sensing of how much nitrogen's in the ground, but you don't really need to have the sensors on the tractor for that to work. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why they're doing it this way. Have no idea. But since it's there and we can use it, well, we'll just keep on seeing where we've been. This makes it a little bit easier. Makes it more convenient. Yeah, 
Yeah, so once we buy the other production building, I think I'm at the stage of looking at the equipment on the farm. Things that we still kind of need, but, you know, things that's not really a big rush, like a seeing spot weed sprayer. We didn't, you know, I could use that one day or, you know, one month out of the year, take care of all the fields and we're done with that. But starting to look at maybe upgrading some of our tractors or not really so much as upgrading, but uh, buying new because the fence we bought used. Uh, this tractor we did buy new, but I do have almost 45 hours on it. I think the Landini we bought new as well. I can't remember if that came up for sale right after. I know the Voltra we bought right away, along with this spreader, because I was doing a whole bunch of fertilizing contracts to bring the money in but in order for me to buy the Landini and the plow. That was the big next big thing, you know, getting doing all those contracts to get the money in to buy what we have currently on the farm. And I keep saying I hope to get to some point where I don't actually have to do contracts to bring in the money. But uh, I pretty much cut myself short on the cash this month. But I didn't want to sell the milk and not be able to make butter and cheese out of it. So, yep. Collect on that. Alright, so that gives us some cash to play with. Um, the farm is just over here, but that means driving through my crop. But I do have narrow tires on the tractor, so technically I could drive through the crop and not damage it, but we'll drive around. Yeah, the field is fertilized. I've been thinking once we get more money and everything settled here on the farm, maybe buy that field and possibly merge it with this one right here. Kind of have one big field on the farm. I don't think we'll ever buy the most, most northern fields. Those are the most expensive. I feel like we got enough fields and enough work to do as it is. Buying field number 26, I think that'll be like a last, kind of one of like the last things we do, along with maybe putting down some solar panels over here, so on and so forth. Yeah, I don't know how much longer, you know, I've been kind of thinking about American Falls and how much farther I want to take it, because if we're not going to be buying more fields, we're not going to expand that way. And as for equipment, we are pretty much there. So I think we're getting to the point of, you know, just getting more financially stable and everything will be fine for us. And then uh, who knows, that, that might be all she wrote. Uh, so maybe at the end of next season could be when we end it. Probably around there. We've been out of American Falls for quite a, quite a while. Not that I have another map that I can't wait to get to or anything like that. I mean, we're talking another year and a half here in American Falls. So that's a good amount of episodes to go. That's what I'm currently thinking of what we'll be, be doing here on American Falls. Oh, and someone did ask me uh, because I have yet to been, be hit by the train if the train is turned on or off. I didn't even know. Actually, I think that's a train coming right there. The train is on, far as I know. Yeah, here comes a train right there. I just haven't been lucky or, or I haven't been unlucky, depending on how you want to look at it, where I haven't gotten hit by the train yet, so... <laughs> If I go the whole series while getting hit by the train, I would consider that lucky. The amount of times I've gone through there and not been, you know, have not been going through the same time the train has. Kind of weird, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I didn't know there was an option to turn off the trains, or, or, or is there? I have no idea. It's an option I just never really figured about turning it on or off. So, I did get the bail counter on the baler reset. So, when I get done, we can see how many bales we made off this grass field. And kind of see how many liters of grass we actually got. So, all we really got to do is to see how many liters are in a hay bale. And then see how many bales we made. And uh, see if anyone can do ma any math. <laughs> we can see how many liters we got. Put that down here. Turn it on, of course. Yeah, this job shouldn't take us too long. I just want to get forward a little bit. All right. Now we just need someone in the fence. And just to be assured, baler counter is at zero. We've made 211 bales only off this baler. Uh, there is... 
I guess I'll have to minus one bale off the list because we're just about full. Before I even get on a worker, I'll probably be pretty much near full. Uh, 25. We'll go 30 meters behind me. I would like to leave myself just a little bit of room just in case I need to turn around or something. Uh, there is a worker. Yeah, okay. Sometimes I get too quick and I don't actually set up a worker with follow me. And I'll get up and I'll start going like halfway around the field like, where's the worker? And the worker never took place because it didn't uh, hook up to the tractor in front. All right, I wanted to skip that little section right now. Don't want to keep turning around too much. Yeah, and as for the pig, someone mentioned, you know, we just cut down not always having a full pen, which we kind of do when we sell the pigs. Uh, but I also want to keep a good amount of pigs just for the amount of manure and slurry that they create to bring over to the BGA. So, yeah, we're just waiting for pigs to be worth like six, seven hundred dollars somewhere in that price range. And if they are, we, we sell them. I don't care if they're male or female. It doesn't really matter to me. Just I'm just looking at the price. Because really, male and female, I think they're producing the same amount of slurry and manure. I don't think one gender is going to create more than another. Shouldn't. <laughs> I don't think in-game anyways. I mean, usually the bigger the animal, the more, more uh, waste they're going to produce in real life. Uh, but I think in Farming Simulator, it doesn't really matter too much. So all this hay we're going to be putting into the cow barn, or the cow shed. We already got one stack on one side, and we got room on the other for another stack. And I am thinking the next cut in this field, which will be, let's see, August, September, in October, will probably uh, cut the grass into a swath, and then, of course, load it up with the forge wagon, and then bring it over to the BGA to be compacted covered, fermented, and of course all that silage be put into the BGA. Now, I think I talked about it, I don't know if it was last episode or if it was the last episode I did of Hills of Tuscany. Uh, I was, uh, someone did mention to me if I'm using the Enhanced Animal Mod, which we are, that when we have newborn calves, that their health will not, I can't remember if they said won't go up at all, or might decrease if I don't give them TMR. Total mixed rations. We are just giving these cows hay. So we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. The cows on the hills of Tuscany, I'm giving TMR because that's a byproduct. Uh, partially from the candy factory. But here, I don't have nothing of that sort. We just, we're just making hay and going to give them to them. So we have to wait until we have newborns here and kind of see what happens with them. If they're healthy stays the same and doesn't go up, I guess I'm fine with that because the calves should not produce milk anyways. So we just got to wait for them to be mature and once they're mature, well then they'll start producing milk like these do. Which by the way, they're, I think last time we checked because the milk was full in this cow barn, uh, productivity was at zero but I think when we fast forward another hour, I think it went up to like 12, up to 12% or something like that. So we actually, we just passed another hour, so hopefully it's up to like 24%. Or maybe since I restarted the game, maybe it has recalculated. Well, it's up to 22%, but it is climbing either way. It is climbing, going back up, and it should get it back up to 100%. This takes a, a moment or two. Which is kind of weird that it slows down the productivity down to zero, and then slowly increases again. It's not because of, you know, it wasn't because of their health. It was because we just didn't have any room for milk to be placed. Kind of a weird thing I haven't checked. I wonder if there's like a an extra capacity tanker I could put down for milk storage. I mean, we got it for like slurry and manure. But milk storage, yeah. I wonder if there's a, like a tanker where you can attach it to the cow barn. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could put milk into a silo. 
but that would be me going over, filling up into the tanker, and then putting it into the silo. I'm talking more of like what slurry or manure would do, where it would just go in the overfill. But I shouldn't have to worry about that anymore because we got the dairy production. And that should go through the milk fast enough before we get full of milk again. Because we don't have, I think we got like a dozen, a dozen cows in one bowl or something that's pretty close, somewhere around there anyways. Now this like uh, the baler, like last time, misses a couple of, uh, can't pick up the whole swath for some unknown reason. But I think when I go the other direction, I'll pick it up all completely. It's just the way it works, I suppose. Yes, we didn't harvest the oats last episode. So I don't think any other fields that we currently have are ready for harvest. Uh, the canola field, I can see, is flowering over there. So that's not ready for for harvest. The sorghum won't be ready for another two months, I think. And then the corn is going to be October slash November. So we should be all set picking up the harvesting stuff. We just got to tidy up this grass field. Get the straw off the field next to us. Refertilize this field at some point. And then we can kind of cruise through the summer months. Hopefully bring in just a little bit of money here and there. Because the oil production, I'm not going to make any money off that until I put the other production down. Because I don't have a sell point for crude oil. I picked the one sell point that doesn't, in the pack, that does not take the crude oil. I could put down a $10,000 sell point that would accept the crude oil. But at this point, I'm hoping I can just stockpile the crude oil. And that way, when we do get the other production building down, well, we can make, you know, I'll just make a whole bunch of material right out of the gate, and we can make a whole bunch of money pretty darn quick. Now, my goal, kind of, at the end of this farming season, which is six months from now, we'll just say the end of December, early January, is to maybe have the loan paid off, which is another $240,000. Since we don't really have any big purchases other than the production building, that is kind of in reach. All right, so it's going to be a few more passes up and down here. It's kind of an awkward grass field, and uh, I don't know who's actually working behind us. One of the Franks is, but I'm pretty sure they're going to miss some pieces on the corner, so I'll have to go back around afterwards and pick up the big messes. Now, just to get this little section down here, and we'll be all done with the wind drawing, and we can return this. Uh, I think it did cost about $3,200 to lease this wind drawer. And I think it's the perfect size for the farm in the future. So, it'll be on my shopping list at some point. I'm going to say $60,000 brand new. Somewhere in that general area. Kind of interesting. I thought the baler would be keeping up with me because my working speed's only only nine. I thought the baler was ten, uh, but it could be the baler needs to be repaired. I think the fence we just repaired not long ago, so that should be good to go. I did have a look at the bales. They are eight thousand liters a piece, so we can kind of do some math. Don't know how good my math will be. I'm going to be doing it in my head, so I would double check my math for darn sure. <laughs> At least I can I can ballpark it. All right, I don't expect the worker to really get that tight of a corner that I'm doing there, but I'll put it into another swath, and there we are all set 
with the wind drawer. And now, like pure magic, uh, we're going to go ahead and return that and it'll disappear. Is that Francesca driving the, the fence today? Or is it Francine? Looks like Francine. Uh, oh, wow. 44 bales currently. And I don't think I will make another one. But it'll be kind of near a full one. Yeah, we'll just go with 44. I know we made one bale right off the bat. So, let's see. That's going to be 8,000 liters per bale. That's like 320 like 350,000 is that is that good math 350,000 I think that's close I think that, that might be right uh, my brain's a little little fried like I said I don't have a calculator in front of me to be able to do it but I'm gonna say that's what we got oh wait a minute we actually got 46 bales it didn't count doesn't count the bales until it actually drops them uh, so maybe 360? No, that, that's going to be too much, isn't it? 360 is going to be... Let's see, 10 would be 80. Times 4, that's 320. 360,000. I think it's around 360,000. <laughs> I would use my phone, but my phone is also my stopwatch for seeing how long my... Uh, videos go for it um yeah but I, I was gonna say 350 but you all get it someone can correct me down below or have the exact number so another 100,000 liters is what we got by combining the two fields I guess it's not too bad oops I'm not done with the baler uh we need to go right over to here and I could reset the baler again Now I need to make straw. I don't know what's going to convert it right over to straw, or is the first bale still going to be hay? Oh, it converted it right there. Now, as for the straw bales, um, I really don't have a convenient place to plop them on down, so maybe we'll just go ahead and sell them. I got a good amount of bales already. Uh, the cows we took care of when we harvested the wheat last month. All the all the straw off that field went into uh, giving bedding for the cows. So the cows should be good for a while. Because we don't have a full pen of cows. So maybe I'll just take these bales to be sold. I'm guessing not the best time of year to be selling straw. But let's face it, I could use this a little bit of uh, uh, insurance money for something in case I need to buy something or whatever and waiting until December just to get an extra five six dollars per a thousand liters of straw it's not really worth my hassle at this this stage here on American Falls I think we're we're doing well enough where I don't have to save up the bales to earn another thousand dollars at best for all the straw that we're gonna get off this field but 44 bales of hay that is uh, really good that might even be more than what my trailer can hold. And if so, then maybe I'll bring the other bales over to the sheep. I was going to say, don't plop that straw bale down right in the swath. Now, of course, I will be getting a little bit of money in between episodes. I got that plowing contract. I think it's like 13 grand. For plowing a field somewhere. I don't, don't even know what field it's on. Originally I wasn't going to do that plowing contract. But since the money is as tight as it is. Uh, yeah I would, I would like to have just a little bit more money in the bank account. So I really. Really am going to work hard to get up to 150000 for the other production building because once we get that going that'll make the oil production all together really worth it and I guess making our own diesel fuel is not too bad I mean I could bring some some of that diesel fuel when I go sell it 
I could bring over here to the farm and put some into our our uh, tank that we got in the farm. That way I can fuel up my vehicles without having to pay for it again. Although I haven't really tested the production building to see how much it's going to make. Now we made diesel fuel before on East Vineland. Yeah, I think we made it on East Vineland. And we made some pretty good money selling diesel fuel there. I remember getting that huge cart for doing sugar beet and I could not find a tractor that would haul that around. At least for the money that I had. I think I had I think I actually had the New Holland T8 was our biggest tractor on that farm and that could not haul 240,000 liters in that auger cart that we had. Might have even been, been big. Was it bigger than that? No, it must have been 240. Either way. Uh, but yeah, we were taking sugar beet in that map and making diesel fuel with it, along with pig food. Many ways to make diesel fuel. I think we even made some on no man's land. And I think that was uh, ethanol fuel that we were making with the corn. So it's good that we're getting all of our swaths bailed up today, just before the rain gets here. I would like to see that added in FS, let's just say FS25. <laughs> because I think we're all assuming it's going to be coming out this fall. At least that's what a lot of people are pointing their fingers at anyways. Uh, that we actually have, like, decomposing of material on the ground. So like straw, grass, hay, if you leave it on the ground for too long, it will decompose. I wonder if it was, uh, maybe they couldn't add it. Because it was a thing in FS19 with the Seasons mod. Now, I don't know because I never, play, I never played on console. Uh, was, could you do Seasons on console in FS19 as a mod? So I'm trying to think because, I mean, they pretty much took some of the that season's mod and put it into the base game here in FS22 and I'm just wondering if the decomposing of the material maybe the console they couldn't get that into the console part of the game so they decided not to add it? I will say because the only part I really knew where it took place for me in FS19s with the Seasons mod was, I think it was my first year in Griffin, Indiana, where I tried to make hay in like October, November. Because, you know, the first year, I mean, when you start a, a new map, unless you use the mod, unless you start in April, you always start in August. So we made ourselves a grass field, and of course it wasn't ready to cut until late in the fall. And I tried to make some hay with it, uh, but with the weather, and condition, weather conditions the way they were, it was never favorable for making hay. The grass never dried up enough to hay, and I lost, I think I lost all the grass in that field because it never turned, and then the snow came. <laughs> but mostly overall, I don't think I really had a problem with decomposing too much. And the good thing about it was grass decomposed, I think if you went overnight, grass decomposed by 50%. I think hay was like, you lost about 20% and straw was maybe like at 5%. But that was FS19, we're in 22 and I'm trying to talk about FS25. Anyways, there's all the bales for straw and we made well, made 20, 20 bales. All right, so we can go ahead and put the baler away, and that's going to stay at the cow farm. I'm not going to be too worried about all the swaths that are kind of left here in the hay field. And the same thing can be said for the straw field. 
someone left a Landini running. Wonder who that was. Uh, what do I got in here? Just the, just the tether. And this was may as well stay right here in this shed. All right, now over to the pig farm. Need to grab the dolly, which is on the tanker, then come over to here. I do believe I left the the trailer over here for the bales. Yep, there it is. And I'm kind of hoping the auto loader will auto load the bales for me today. My last episode in Hills of Tuscany, I tried picking up bales, and it wouldn't allow me to pick up the bales on the go. I had to come to a complete stop to pick them up. Oh, yeah, and I probably should mention, in case uh, some people were wondering, didn't see the community post, or did not see the post on the Discord channel, that yeah, there was no episode of Hills of Tuscany on Saturday. Had a little bit of a problem with the, the PC, and the part came in over the weekend, got that fixed. Kind of an interesting end of my weekend, where we had a winter storm come through. Heavy wet snow, took down some power lines in my area and I lost power and when the power came back to like seven or eight hours later uh, my cooling pump for the CPU was acting rather weird and uh, well needless to say I, had, I ordered one <laughs> got a new cooling pump on the CPU and we're good to go kind of hard to uh, where, where am I going here got talking uh, yeah kind of hard to uh, play games and edit videos and do all the stuff without a cooler for your CPU. And now we are back up and running. Not quite close enough. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. Hopefully I got the option too. Yes, I got the option. It's always the top one, but sometimes it's not there for me. I don't know why. To auto uh, bail mode. Because of Tuscany, that option was not there. And I'm not quite sure why that comes and goes. Had the problem on Hinterland. Where sometimes it would be there and other times it wouldn't. So I should be able to pick up the bales right on the go without having to stop. Perfect. Let's see if all the 44 bales was it. See if I can get all 44 bales on the trailer. I'm thinking it holds 30... In the 30s. I don't think it's going to hold all 44. Well, this will be the first set anyways. And I'm kind of hoping that the cows will take the rest. See, I want it to unload on the left side, so we'll switch sides that it unloads on. I think I unloaded to the right last time. Kind of glad the bales clipped through the barn there. 
can't really see what I'm doing. Alright, and then hopefully it unloads to the left. Alright, we're out. So the hay bales are in storage under a roof, so they're good to go. Let's go around and pick up the rest, shall we? And then I'm kind of hoping I can go right into the cow barn and the feed trough area. And I'm hoping that'll take the bales right off the trailer. The trigger might be too high, though. We're about to find out. They should take, I think, all of this. I think there was one more bale. Oh, two more bales. Okay, and disable the bale loader. Strap them on just in case. I don't know if I can make the corner out of here, to be honest with you, at the other end. Okay, I think I'm in the feed trough. Yes, I am. Uh, but the problem is, as we can see, it took the bottom bales, but not the other layers. So if I do this... Alright, how about if I do this? Uh, Alright, we'll turn that back on. Turn it off. Unstrap it. There we go. Now it'll take them. What? Come on, drop. Drop for me. There we go. Alright, so how did that do on their food? Well, they can probably take 500,000 liters of hay, which is quite a bit. And once again, their productivity went down to zero because... There was no room for the milk, and uh, so it goes down to zero. And I guess it's just like their health. It's going to go up in increments, not all at once. Uh, but overall, they should be fine. Uh, the question is now, can I get make this corner out of here with the trailer and the dolly? Um, I think the answer is no. <laughs> but... All right, so maybe next time... Okay, how would I do that in the future? I mean, I guess if I were to bring in loose hay, that would be a thing. <laughs> yeah, this 53-foot uh, trailer, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's not made to go through here. Um, let me pick that up and kind of do that. Now, now I'm stuck. J just ignore what's going on here. You can fast forward the video a few seconds if you want. <laughs> there. I think, I think we're, I think we're free and clear now. And we got a random cow out here. All right, straw bales next. And yeah, we'll probably just go sell the straw bales. Turn on the auto loader and should have no problem picking up all these bales. Did I fling those straw bales out that far? I must have. I was the one driving. So as it stands, I think we are done with the farming work other than the plowing contract that I'm going to do. Uh, I think we are done uh, with, with field work. All the animals are pretty much taken care of. The only thing that we may do, because someone mentioned that the pig's health by the end of the evening should be near 100% or at 
that, you know, we can go ahead and sell the pigs then. Which we probably will do. And hopefully get like another 25 grand. That's what we seem to make when we uh, go sell the pigs. Then, of course, the BGA is going to do its BGA thing. Which, by the way, we have. How? What are we looking at at the BGA here? Uh, wait, where are we here? Oh, right here. Uh, 50,000 liters of silage and about 30,000 liters of slurry is what we have left. So that, that'll be done by the end of the day easily. Probably bring in like maybe another fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 or so. Maybe a little bit more than that. And this here will probably make five or six thousand with these straw bales. Thought about keeping them because we don't have any of the fields again. But yeah, I know, I know you're there, but uh, you kind of didn't give me no room to swing around. And even with super strength, I cannot pick up... There we go. Push that out. There we go. Now we're all set. You either have days with the AI traffic where they're not bothering you at all. And then other days, it seems like every time you need to cut over into their path a little bit, there's always a car coming. But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the straw. I was thinking about keeping this straw here because I don't have any more straw fields this year to harvest and just want to make sure I had enough but I think we do so I'm going to gamble it's not that necessary that we have straw anyways I didn't have it all on the trigger but was that 7,000? could have been didn't see. I think we were at 10, were we not? So yeah, like about $7,500 worth of straw. So that's pretty darn good cash. Better than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so I'm going to park this trailer right back where I got it from. And hopefully later on this year, I'll be using it to sell some products from the oil refinery or whatever it's actually going to be called. Our factory building? I mean, it's doing oil products. We'll park you right here. Turn off the beacons. All right, so where am I going for this plowing contract? Uh, field number 30. And I think that's the one behind the spinnery. The spinnery do. Yep, there's a spinnery. Field number 30. Yep, I know where I need to go with that. Uh, so we'll jump in the Landini, which the engine's still running, keeping the oil in it nice and warm. So now I just need to go back to the pig farm, grab the plow, and now that I got money in the bank account, I can hire myself a worker to go ahead and do that while I check on the other farming stuff as a farm manager would. And just make sure that we are done with the month of July, and that way when we start next episode, it'll be the evening hours in July. Fingers crossed we can sell some pigs. And let's see, if I if everything goes well, let's say $25,000 with the pigs and another 8,000 or so from the BGA, along with this plowing contract, you know, we could be up near $60,000 in the bank account, which is not too bad. I will take that. And then we just need another 100 grand after that in order to buy the other production building, which should fit on the piece of property where the greenhouses were. So I don't have to buy any more land for that. But with that being said, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you to watch as always. And I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then, have a good one.